Hello everyone. On Sunday's uh, Twitch streams we do games review, but this week we had not enough time, so I thought to make analyses separately on this channel. By the way, you can watch our live votes on our other Shogi Harbor channel, you can find the link in the description, and of course you're always welcome to send your kifu on our actual live stream. So this is the game from a user called Valorant95, let's take a look on it. Valorant is playing Static Rook, going for perhaps Yagur opening, but at the same time we see that he uh, quickly advances his right silver and immediately attacks on this file, trying to do climbing silver strategy bogging. The objective of this strategy is to exchange the silvers like this. And usually that's good because we force a defensive silver for offensive silver exchange. But in this case, you can see that here the opponent promoted their bishop, taking a free lens. So we succeeded at silver exchange, but our opponent got two things, lens and a horse. So it's a big disadvantage for us. If the opponent uh, were to play properly, they can do one of two things. They could bring this horse back to their camp, use it in the defense, or use it to put pressure on this rook. Eventually exchange those two pieces and then use the rook to expose this uh, sitting king. So let's see what Valorant did here. His idea was actually to contain the horse, which is very nice. Um, around here though, we slowly get into a difficult position because our opponent has a Tesuji around here, which is pound push to 2-5. As you can see, the target is to drop the lance. This is going to kill our rook, it's going to be very, very painful. Um, and it seems like we can take this pawn, right? But again, we can drop the lens here, forking those two pieces. Something like this would give God a certain win. All right, but the opponent didn't see that, so let's continue. We managed to capture our enemy's lens. That's great. We kind of managed to unlock our rook. And around here, um, just a general rule, if you want to drop the uh, lens, it's better to drop it from far away. In this case, a familiar Tesuji will reappear. The gold could have taken the lens. And the lens once more could have forked those two pieces. <laughs> Quite a painful move indeed. Let's see what happened. The, our rook was finally captured. But in exchange we captured the horse. This is a very strong attack from our opponent, attacking the head of our king. We try to defend it, but here rook drop manages to get two pieces for one. Our enemy got a supply of pieces, so their attack won't run out of steam. Usually speaking, dragon right next to the king like this uh, would be a losing situation. Uh, that is because it would easily lead to a checkmate. And indeed, in this situation, the enemy has a checkmate. If they were to drop the silver here, king tries to escape. We chase it again with unpromoted silver, a double check. King will have to run away. And if we continue chasing it, eventually we can force them. It doesn't matter what they drop, this pawn push alone will force them into a checkmate situation. So our opponent had a chance here. Um, unfortunately, they um, missed it. So Valorant uh, keeps fighting here. And this is one of those uh, shaggy rules that we will portray here one of which is continue fighting, and the other one is if you 
don't have a defense, you will have to concentrate on the counter attack. For now, the king is in a threat mate, so we will have to defend it. Valran does great job here. He takes two pieces for one. And we somewhat managed to rebuild the castle, yeah? This silver is actually hanging, but let's ignore that for now. Eventually, Valorant manages to somehow stabilize the position and concentrate on the counterattack. The game will continue quite on, um, but as you will see, Valorant, by continuing to attack, will eventually create a certain chance for himself. In Shogi, the last person to make the mistake is the loser, after all. Many, many exchanges happen. There are, of course, better moves for both sides. But eventually, Valorant has enough pieces to attack the enemy king. And this beautiful move was played. The bishop here, pinning the spawn in place. This becomes a rook, king, fork. Here is where Valorant chance came to be. There were many correct ways to play, but around this move, we had an actual checkmate variation. Um, what Valorant played was silver drop. What we want to do is first promote the knight, get rid of this pawn, and as we drop the silver, you can see this spot is now unprotected, giving us this beautiful checkmating line. So this was one of few chances for Valorant to turn around this game. Now we missed this chance, the king slowly, slowly, slowly went here. You can see that it was crucial for this horse to take off this pawn here. You can see that slowly this king is heading toward our camp. And the question that was submitted together with this game was, is there any way to attack this king? Um, this king is called an entered king because it entered the promotion zone. And the short answer is, um, it is difficult. There are two main reasons why checkmating entered king is difficult. Um, one is that, as you know, we have lances, knights, and pawns. Those pieces move only forward. So those pieces cannot really aid us in checkmating this king, which means we have half of our army available. But on top of that, the enemy can easily uh, make more and more promoted pawns, promoted pieces. Tokens are, you know, very cheap way to get a gold. Uh, to protect your king, and they will like barricade the king in that promotion zone, <laughs> making it virtually impossible for us to ever checkmate this king. So it is therefore advisable that you prevent the king from entering to begin with, and this is part of the endgame theory that every shaggy player should be aware of. The game continued on, but because the king entered, eventually Valorant couldn't really capture this king. But there is an important lesson that we learned from Valorant. Never give up and you may get a chance to win the game. See you in the next one.